I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. It's such a nice day for a picnic. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? Oh, I don't like that at all. Uh, Amanda, what's that smell? I've never smelled anything like that. Hmm, I don't know, Wooly. You're right, it's a bad smell. What do you think is making that bad smell? You, you're right. This sandwich is stinky because it's rotting. This tree stump is rotting too. Do you know why? Things rot when they are not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? That's right, the tree stump is dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! Men can die if they don't get enough light or water, or if they get a disease. Let's go back to our nice picnic. Animals can die in different ways too. Look at poor Mr. Fox. He is dead and body. What do you think killed him? The gun? the knife, or the poisonous berries on this bush. I don't think that was it. No, it wasn't that. Look at his funny tongue. He's silly. What killed him? Wouldn't it be nice if he could tell us? Mr. Fox, what made you die? It was the ugly old bear trap. Mr. Fox didn't even know what got him until it was too late. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. We saw so many things today. A riding sandwich, a riding tree stump, and silly old riding Mr. Fox. Sometimes I feel myself riding. It feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. See? Everything is fine here. It's all fine. Nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. That's what I was afraid of. I'm Wooly. Ba. Wooly just made an animal sound. He said ba because he is a sheep. Can you make a sound like a sheep? That's 
great! You sound just like Wooly! <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. You sound just like me. There are lots of animals here to pet and play with. It's fun to spend time with animals. They are very different from people. They look different, and they don't talk like people. Amanda, I'm an animal, and I... Animals don't talk, silly. Look at these signs. Let's make sounds like the animals on the signs. Are you ready? A goat says, meh. Meh. A chicken says, <laughs> A pig says, like, <laughs> Fun! Animals make funny sounds. Do you have a family? Animals have families too. Let's go see one of the animal family. I want to see the chickens. Can you show me where the chickens are? Great! Let's go see the silly chickens! What a cute family! Having a family is nice. I see a mommy chicken and baby chickens. And I see... I see a daddy chicken. Look at the chickens! Do you know what the daddy is called? No, that's not what they're called. Try again. Do I have to help you with everything? The daddy is called a rooster. The mommy is a hen, and the babies are chicks. Some mommies eat their babies. Yum, yum. Okay, let's go see some more animal families. Where should we go next? I think it's time to visit the sheep. <laughs> can you tell me where we can find the sheep? Ew! I don't want to see those. They're scary. I don't want to go near... right where they belong. <laughs> Hi, little kitten. Where is your family? It looks like this kitten is all by herself. How do you think she feels? This kitten is alone. There is no one to help her. 
Will you help the lonely kitten? Will you please help the lonely kitten? Won't you help the lonely kitten? Won't you help the lonely kitten? Won't you help the lonely kitten? Lonely kitten? I'm Amanda! And I'm Wooly! What's that smell? What do you think is making that bad smell? Yee you! You're right! Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Dead is the opposite of alive! Good job! When an animal dies, it rots too! It looks like this kitten is in big trouble! It might die before anyone can help it. Should we help the kitten? much time. Do you trust me? Wooly! Ready for an adventure? Amanda! You know you can't... Wooly had an accident! When a friend has an accident, sometimes nobody can help them. But we can try! No, Amanda! I I'm fine! I, I, I just, uh... Poor Wooly is so confused! We really have to help him. First, we have to know what is wrong. What part of Wooly is broken? Isn't Wooly acting strange? What could be wrong? Don't you care about Wooly? He needs our help. If we don't fix him now, things will get very, very bad. Wooly's head is broken, but Dr. Amanda is here to help. Let's prepare the patient. Here, Willie, drink this. Uh, I don't know, Amanda. It's all just pretend, isn't it, Willie? Amanda, I feel, uh... We need to operate immediately on the patient's brain. 
What tool should we use to fix Wooly's head? The saw, the hammer, or the forceps? That might be helpful, but what else could we use? Things could get really messy if we use that. That looks hard to use, but I could try. <laughs> I tricked you! We're going to use all three! <laughs> the patient is getting rowdy! I'll need a little help here. Help me! Please! So, who are you going to help? You're not going to help me? Fine! I can do this by myself. No way! I'm woo. Hi! Trap door treat! I'm allergic to apples. How many chair? How many mushrooms? How many fruit? How many plates? We don't have much time. Hi! 
I'm... Amanda. When you're friends, you can share all kinds of things with each other. I can share my crayons with you, so you can have fun coloring too. Look at silly Mr. Fox. Sharing shows you care about someone. Friends can share toys. They can share snacks. I'll share some of my snacks with you. Which snack would you like? Yum, that's my favorite. Friends can share other things too. They can share secrets. Can I share a secret with you? Oh. I thought you were different. Yum, that's my favorite. Are you sure? It's a big secret. Is it really okay to share my secret with you? I'm out there. Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> 